Uh, okay, thank you so much for the time which is given to me for giving a presentation about acupuncture. You know, uh, you know what the acupuncture is in China these days. Acupuncture is one of the uh, common methods for killing pain. At first glance, it's really strange and bizarre, but it really works in some cases. Uh, for example, these days in China, you can see that the doctors uh, actually have done a lot of open heart surgeries with the help of acupuncture in a situation that the ill person is completely conscious, and, but they are doing some surgeries without uh, actually using any anesthetic or let's say some uh, chemical substances for alleviating the pain. Uh, but the point is that uh, whether or not it has some effects on your, on people's body. Uh, you know, in some, for example, hospitals in China, uh, the doctors try to combine the methods and uh, I mean acupuncture with, uh, for example, some anesthetic drugs uh, for alleviating or relieving the pain in illness illness people's bodies. Uh, you know. Uh, some scientific and some, let's say, doctors in China were some were somehow skeptical or doubtful about the effects of uh, acupuncture, and they were saying that uh, it is such an inculcation. I mean, and they call it a placebo effect. I mean, uh, this method has nothing to do with alleviating the weight, but the point is that when you when a when an ill person thinks that uh, a process has been done on his body for relieving the weight. As an outcome, as a result, the pain would be actually relieved unconsciously. But putting some in uh, or inserting some needles in your body has nothing to do with actually alleviating the, the pain. For finding out the, uh, the answer of this question, the researchers did a, uh, let's say, a research or experiment about it. They actually sure. chose uh, uh, statistical groups and they made two groups of people who are dealing or coping with some uh, pain, and they try to uh, put them under uh, uh, put them under acupuncture and evaluate the results. The first group was uh, uh, was uh, some people who were actually under acupuncture. Really, I mean, they inserted some needles in their bodies. Really, but the second group uh, was. Uh, some uh, was such a group that actually people didn't, that the doctors didn't uh, insert the needles in their body, but uh, they just actually uh, put their needles on the skin of their bodies and they, they didn't insert the, insert the needles in their bodies. But both groups were thinking that uh, they were under acupuncture. Uh, but the result was really astonishing. I mean, uh, the people who were under acupuncture really, uh, the uh, the, re the result was more successful in comparison to the second group. And it was saying that acupuncture has doing something, has do actually has something to do with alleviating the pain in their bodies. But it was uh, actually, it was uh, still under a big question that whether or not it's scientific. So for finding out or figuring out the answer of this question, some scientific uh, sci uh, scientists in the United States gathered together and they try to use MRI or that they try to, uh, let's say, capture the behavior of the brain under acupuncture. And they made some comparison between a person who is, uh, uh, who is under acupuncture and a, and a person has actually, uh, and who is not under acupuncture. And the result was something like this, that uh, some uh, parts in your brain is really responsible for finding out some pain and when a person is under acupuncture those parts in their brain uh, is deactivated somehow and scientifically speaking it could have some effects on for example some specific uh, pains for alleviating those pains and these were some points that i find out or let's say i found out about acupuncture by uh, listening or watching some documentaries about this subject I hope you enjoyed it.